Hello you bunch of tankers and welcome back for a bit more PS4 World of Tanks footage with me, Chopper Mia. So a bit of an old video for you today. I've had this one lying around for a while. Kept meaning to edit it and do my usual uh, commentary over the top of it for you. And just never did. So we're at the AMX Chaffee. Tier 6 light tank. Um, a wonderful little thing. Absolutely wonderful. I've already put a video up from my first game in this tank. Which was, I think it was... Five and a half k or something. It was a, it was, it was a ridiculous amount, anyway. Um, so that's on the channel if you want to check that out. Um, yeah, great tank. If you like light tanks, if it comes back up in the store again, I recommend you buy it. It's it's basically it's a it's a chaffy hull with an AMX thirteen seventy five turret, I believe. Uh, so it's an auto loader. It's a six shot auto loader. Great fun. Really, really good. And we're out on highway today. And we are doing a little bit of <laughs> very aggressive scouting, I'd like to call it. This is a nice little ridge that I like to use. If you can get there quickly, which you can in the Chaffee, really. Uh, it's got a 56 km an hour top speed on it. I had literally no crew skills when I was playing this game. So this was, this was just the crew that comes in it at 100%. And I'm running um, whatever the premium consumable is just to help me out a little bit. The view range on the Chaffee is 390, which is it's good, yeah, but it does see up to tier 10 this tank, so 390 can feel a little bit lacking. So anyway, back to the game. Yeah, on highway, I like to, if, if we spawn up in the, uh, the northeast, what I like to do is run along the train tracks as much as I can, and that little ridge you just saw me running along is quite nice. If they've got slower tanks, if they're the lights have gone the opposite way, and it's the heavies and the TDs crawling up that hill from their spawn. It's great. You can just peek yourself over, as you saw, and get yourself some spots. So, I mean, we've got five spotting ribbons already, and we've got nine assisted damage already. Yeah, and as you can see, it's definitely an older game, because instead of hitting reload, I still keep hitting defend the base. Which I'm getting better at now. I'm getting better at. Now, they've pushed into the, the town as I would expect from heavies. So I'm going to sort of just push down, see what's left, see what's straggling around a little bit. Skoda's got himself nice and tucked away in that riverbed. Now that Skoda is going to be a pain in my arse for the entire duration of this game. The, the 75mm on this gun is, especially in an autoloader, when you've got a full clip, it does chew out the DPM quite quickly. Unfortunately I can't remember off the top of my head what the actual damage was. Maybe I should start doing a bit of research before my videos and uh, and looking it up. But yeah, so I could do with that Skoda being gone. Um, I really want to push around the back of these guys and try and see what's left at their spawn and, and see what's still moving up the hill towards the town. Bit of an aggressive risky move here. This is a tier 8 game. And again, I am a tier 6 light tank and I've only got 600 hit points. Having no crew skills, I have no sixth sense, which is a blessing and a curse at the same time. Now I have sixth sense on this tank, I do find that I get a little bit too timid when that sixth sense comes up, knowing that most things can one-shot me in a tier 10. I get a little bit timid and I don't push as much as I should. I prefer the more aggressive spotting role a lot of the time. A lot of maps will allow you to do it. But I do prefer the the aggressive spotting. I mean, it's it's the most fun you can have in a light tank, to be honest. It's, it's, a lot of the time, it's the most fun you can have in World of Tanks. But you've just got to you've got to make sure you're careful. And when that sixth sense goes off, you do need to move. Obviously, in this, not having it, I was just going balls deep. In all fairness, it paid off for me. You know, high risk, high reward, and all that. And it, yeah, it worked out for me. The nice thing being a tier 8 game as well as that XP I can get from the assist and, uh, shots. Thank you so much for getting rid of it. So yeah, I've done two damaging ribbons so far, but I've got 15 assisted. I mean, our team is absolutely steep rolling. I mean, we've lost one tank, and they've lost 10 so far. Enemy armor is so you see, quite a lucky two shots into the motherland there, right in the side. It does pack a punch, this tank. It really does pack a good punch. Take down the greedy little uh, sky pig. 
as uh, Mr. Friday would call them. And we're back on the reload. Now on this, you will notice sometimes, uh, I mean as I use it more I will be putting more videos up, but you will notice that if I'm getting three or two or three rounds left in the autoloader, I will reload if I've got chance. Just because a lot of the time you need all of them shots to try and take, especially in the, the you know, like the tier 8 games and stuff. You need to get as much damage out as you can and then scarper as fast as you can. So having a full clip really does help in that situation. And now we're down to two tanks, which I believe is a... It's a Tiger 2. And it's a T... Yeah, T20, yeah. So they've got themselves holed up. They're getting surrounded. It's the end of the game. I'm feeling cocky and I'm thinking, right, let's get ourselves in there. Let's get some more damage. We've only done 17 damaging shots, so let's let's do it. Come on, mate. Come on. We get one into the T20, and then the double-edged sword hits us of not having six cents. Although he was aiming at me, so it wouldn't really matter too much, would it? But yeah, it was a good game. We won. It's just a shame I couldn't have survived right until the end there. But it would have been nice. Sorry, it wasn't a Tiger 2, it was a T-32. I, I uh, got it wrong there. But yeah, as you can see, you can be quite aggressive with this tank. You can really push quite hard when you need to. You've just got to remember to not sit still and also just make sure that you remember to fall back and reload sometimes so as you can see 974 damage we got a scout medal there 4641 assisted damage that's pretty good and we got the two kills that we did get they were both tier 8 tanks so happy days well thanks for watching if you liked it please leave me a like and remember to share and subscribe thank you so much for watching 